All right, so here we are. Maybe I should do it. I know, right? Here we are, right at the corner. Um, this is right at that other clean out, so you can see there's some stuff there. Put the camera down right now. Are you talking, You can see there's some stuff in here. Not to push it out. Was that water in there? Yeah. There's about half Bill standing right here too. Bill standing right here too. So you can see we're just pushing paper, toilet oh, paper, and stuff. No, no, they just wanted me to come out and look at it. Kind of looks how well we're communicating. Tell them we're making a video of it. So. All right, we'll do. It. Yep. So you can see, so that's kind of what happens is this stuff starts to get stuck. Yeah, you can see there's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Not too bad, though. Ready for lunch? Pretty high quality camera. For $9,000, it should be. You take that thing ice fishing with you, too, or you just run that, drop that little no, hole? <laughs> no, I try to keep this as far away from the things <laughs> I'm going to eat. It's too bad we couldn't get more water for it. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's the thing, you know. It's like, what the hell is that? A plastic bottle? No, just, just toilet paper and stuff. And you can see how it's all bumpy along the bottom. And that's from sediment and stuff just settling in it. There's a little water moving, though. It looks like it's not moving. It's not moving. It's just my camera pushing it around. Oh, because it's pretty stagnant. Do you want to hang out with them just in case you need anything? Sure. Keep the water running. Just, just call me Justin. Oh my God. Bad friend. Terry said he says he comes over here like every three months to check it out. Look at it. Yeah, that's what he wants to do. Yeah. Well, good, good show on here. So that's the the next area. So there's like another tie-in. So definitely, I think you remember the water's helped. Yeah. You know. Okay. I'll pull this back. Last time you were in there, I don't remember there being much standing water, was there? How was it? Mm, we were probably running water, so it didn't look like it was. You know. Uh, but I just kind of go with the show that it just doesn't have pitch. You know what I mean? So that plus like how rough this pipe is because it's old and cruddy. You know, it just grabs on to stuff and it just doesn't let it go down. It definitely looks a lot better by just running the water. It's just got a long ways to go, you know what I mean, before anything else ties into it. So. Do you ever go out like and replace people's main sewer lines going from their house off to the street? Yeah, I do most of that without digging though. Like that's. You don't do the digging? No, I do it without digging. Well, how do we do that? Uh, so that's what we're kind of talking about doing here. Uh, but for this one, I dig at that other clean out and shoot a liner both ways. I shoot like liners and stuff like that, like um, like a, a felt liner that uh, kind of can go both, you know, it goes, it's a two-part epoxy that, that's wetted out inside of a felt sock, basically. And then you invert it into place with the air pressure and you just kind of roll it out and then you heat cure it. And so the pipe within the pipe is called CIPP, cured in place pipe. Yeah, you can see this stuff just really isn't moving, you know. But that's not that's not as bad as it has been. So I think running the water has helped. Where do you do you have like a problem in your house or something? Not yet. Where My do you house live? Built 1948. It's really old or something. Yeah. So like all this stuff is designed to last 50 years. So like it's just it's 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 going to be beyond its lifespan. Where are you at? Like in South Minneapolis or something? Anoka. Or? Anoka. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And actually. In Anoka, it's really scary because they have a lot of what's called Orangeburg, which is this really bad pipe that they did that's literally like tar paper, tar paper wrapped up. So if you ever have someone come clean it, which is should be me, we're trying to sound. <laughs> um, you have to be really careful. Like make them camera it at the same time because like machines can just destroy that Orangeburg. It's so bad, and like, and then it starts to oval. And the problem with that is, is once it gets too oval. We can't line it because the liner wants has to be round to have its strength. You know what I mean? Just like a, like a cylinder. So you can go in there and put a liner on the inside of it. Is that what you're saying? 